What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Johnny, you're watching another episode of my build series on my E93 335 convertible. That has been a wonderful, fun project that I am enjoying. And you know, I honestly didn't realize how much I'd like, I've never been a convertible fan. If you guys know me, and some of you do that watch these videos, know that I'm not a big convertible fan. For some reason, I seem to love this car. It's just a lot of fun. I've always liked the body style of the E90s, but uh, this is my first one, and I'm really enjoying having this, and I'm having a good time with this. And I appreciate you guys watching as well, too. And you see me, I'm sitting in the trunk. So we got some other projects to do. We got we to gotta repair the broken stuff that we did when we put in the multimedia. The backup camera. Bam! Does not work. And I believe it's because I did not ground this thing. I have this wire here. This is not the ground. This is the video cable for it. So behind here, I have it kind of tied up. Is a power wire and a ground. Now the power wire also was in the front. If you guys did not watch the video, don't forget to click on the... I don't know which side it's going to be on. But it's on one of these sides. Maybe this side? Or maybe this side. Because I'm backwards with the camera. So, uh, you got to click on the build series. Check out that video I did with the multimedia center. Obviously, the top has to be up for this here because I got to get back here. So, I don't need this in the way. I did buy some wires. I bought some clips. I had no, I bought this one. This is that Walmart cap right here. Spur of the moment by. I need to find some place to, to hit the ground and also connect the wires. Uh, I bought these clips too to connect the wires. We'll use one of these here. I'm not sure which one's going to work best. And I also got some wire. This was the shortest one I could get, 40 feet worth, but it was like, I think it was like $3. It's Walmart, guys. And I bought some extra tools here. Uh, I don't really need these things, but I needed this. This is all I actually needed in this whole thing here. I have all these, ah, I'm lying. There, there's a T10 in here. I did need a T10. If you watch my video again with it, the radio itself, two screws are T10s, and they're the ones that hold the actual multimedia center to the dashboard. They're two. Those are the two T10s. I didn't have a T10. Everything else was either T15 or T20 or, or I think like a T30. I don't know. It was like a big one that held in the, uh, I think, the uh, glove box. So that was a pain in the butt. So I was missing one, so I had to use an Allen wrench to open up the two little T10s. It worked, but really you should be using the right tools. So this this will come in handy uh, at the end, but it's really a, this I needed. That was the big one, so we, we don't really need any of that at all today because all we need here is my plastic handy tool to pop all these off, and then I need my plastic uh, tool to pop, unscrew all those all the way through in here. There's a bunch of these little things all over the place in there. Undo those so I can get to the battery area. I need some more tie downs. Ooh, you know what? I probably should have bought some more tie downs. I'm not sure how many more I have. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to review that. Hopefully, I have enough to get this wiring all the way down into here. I should I should have enough because I only really need to go to here. I, actually, I tied down a bunch that went in there, so we should be good. Hopefully, we should be good with that. Uh, so we're gonna get started on this project. So don't go away, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you can watch this entire build series. This is actually same day second option because these things that uh, like I said, there's tons of projects I got to do. We're not done here because the multimedia is not 100% either because the GPS still doesn't work. I think I plugged it into the wrong thing. I think I wasn't supposed to plug it into the main radio unit. I think I needed to wire it up to the top. I saw a video, a guy did it, and I think he had this two-way system for his GPS where it plugged into the stock one and it had two prongs, one and the other, and they both kind of worked. I don't, I don't know. I, did, I didn't have that option, So, and I followed his directions, and I think it's because he had that. I did not. So I think I need to rewire it. So I'm going to take the glove box out. I'm going to have to take all that crap back out again. Uh, good thing is I don't have to take any of the side wiring out because that was a pain in the butt too. Uh, but it's not too hard. I could do it pretty quickly. Get it back in and out as quick as I can. Uh, promise that video won't be as long. This one won't be as long either. Uh, so stick around. We'll try to make it quick as possible. I'm pretty much just going to get all this knocked out. I'll come back here when most of this is probably opened and opened up. We're going to figure out a spot together to get this thing grounded. So you guys have an idea. If you need to do this, you'll kind of know a good spot to ground this thing. So we're going to look around and we're going to get this thing plugged in and it's going to work, guys. So stay tuned. All right, so we got everything off, got everything unplugged. You know, it kind of sucks is a little bit. I got uh, the guy who did my starter. 
broke this clip, just left it in there, and uh, didn't even have these things clipped in. The panels were kind of loose. Uh, what do you do, man? You know what I mean? What do you do? And there's clips missing for sure. There wasn't a clip here. You got clips missing. You didn't put all the clips back in. The nice thing is, I gotta get some more clips. I'm gonna have to find some clips. I'll order some clips online. Um, I'm sure they won't be hard to find. Because you know if I go back to that guy, he's gonna be like, ah, I didn't uh, lose any. Oh, he's gonna say, like, there was like that. We know it wasn't like that because I can show you a video right before when I installed everything back up. And every clip was in there. So, and they weren't broken. So either way, no harm, no foul. They're probably like, Phew. I mean, what are these things? Like a couple dollars to order a new set of clips. So uh, I'll find some clips for that. But either way, there's plenty of, uh, I think we have the main ground right here, but I don't want to unplug this. You might be able to just put it to that, you know, to the battery itself, um, to the negative. Or actually, maybe we will hook it up to this. Uh, but there's there's bolts all over the place. I think we have this red one down here. Um, there's a few bolts, and I'm sure I could probably. This is. I wouldn't doubt that this probably would work too, because uh, there's no plastic behind this, and this one is actually got a plastic piece behind it, so I can't use that one there. I know you know I'm blocking it a little bit with the light, and um, this one might work right here though. I think that holds in the light. Uh, this holds this in. It's one of the bolts. There's another one there too as well. There's a couple there. So there's a few spots uh, I think might be good for a ground. Uh, this one's painted. I don't know if it'll work or not. Uh, I mean, this is painted, but uh, obviously that's a good ground because the battery's connected to that. But that's a big one, so and that, that might be Loctited down. I have no idea. So we're going to try a few of these. Here's the cables right here. Here was well. Here's the power one. I clipped it so it doesn't uh, touch anything. I might tape off the end to make sure it shouldn't power anything though, so because it's not connected, but to the uh, light. But here's my here's my ground. So I'm gonna get that connected. I'm gonna have to run this down, down into here, clip it, and uh, we're gonna have to go from there. I'm gonna get some of that cable. I'm gonna have to just uh, cut out a length, uh, so I have plenty here. This is probably no more than about two feet worth. A cable I'll cut about maybe three feet to make sure I got enough uh, wire down in there so I'm gonna have to choose something that grounds it and hopefully this backup camera will turn on I don't know man I don't know what else to do if that doesn't turn on maybe I need to connect this power one too but I connected the power one in the front but we're gonna try it out guys we're gonna do some we're gonna do some random stuff here hopefully it works in our favor that way we can be done I can button this back up as best as I can with the with the clips that I got, because this guy broke all my clips. Uh, and maybe I can take some out of here. I mean, I'm turning this in, right? I don't know. See what happens. All right, boys and girls. I think we uh, have accomplished something here. So it looks like not only did it need to be grounded, I tried the ground. Look at that. Well, we're looking at the uh, ceiling because my uh, trunk is open, but backup camera is on. <laughs> so what had to happen is the power in the back here had to be plugged in the power back there had to be plugged in and the ground I think maybe I was on a bad ground too I put it on the ground with the battery so I think that probably helped too and I it didn't work camera didn't turn on just with the ground that battery uh, red wire had to be hooked up too or maybe the red wire that's up front here maybe it didn't have a good connection I mean, it should have because I stripped the wire and I, uh, it seemed, I don't know, maybe I, it did, wasn't, that's not what needed to work, so I don't know. So either way, we got power now, we got a backup camera, and we're a business. Let's put that back on, let's turn that off, and uh, we got a mess of wires, we got to clean everything up, we got a big, uh, big mess in here, so we got to get all this stuff out of here, get all this buttoned up get all these panels back on get those things buttoned up and then we're done we're fresh so i'm going to button all this up we're going to look what see what it does it looks like it was cleared up trunk is closed backup camera on i don't have any sensors though so i'm beat there even though it does support sensors but maybe that's what the other power thing was for maybe it was for sensors to work i don't know either way i'll be right back trunk is clean there we go let's close this yep Wiring is in, and you can see the red in there. It's tied up 
back up behind there everything's good let's close this up sucks that down lights are still working here we go says I need maintenance oh boy all right boys let's close it up AC's on Bluetooth's connected okay my clock's messed up because I had the battery disconnect for a second there now let's do something like let's lower the top let's make sure my top still goes down hey there it goes see it in the mirror there she goes and away she goes there's nothing blocking it bang close up perfect it's done go in reverse backup camera do you work no signal <laughs> ah! see you guys that's what happens there's always something always always something I bet you uh, when I rewired everything some of the connections uh, weren't as good anymore how much you want to bet on that Oh, gotta love this man. You gotta love this game. It's amazing. Boys and girls, I found the culprit. This clip that this guy broke, obviously my ground wire, see that? Snapped. So, I gotta get back in there and rewire that. So this is why I cycled the top. To make sure that none of these wires were touching or hitting, so... I don't know where this thing uh, got clipped at, so we're gonna have to we have to go digging and find the old culprit so we can snap it back together. Woo! The back is hurting. I have redone the wires many times. For some reason, these wires, when the top goes up, those wires are tripping. <laughs> backup camera. Woo! Wow! Backup camera works. Forgot to put the partition down, boys. Oh, let's open up the trunk. We can't, we can't even process everything right here. We've been back and forth with this. I got the lights on, it's dark out now. Let's put this partition down. I got the wires rerouted underneath. I'm hoping this will solve the top up and down issue. It is just basically just pulling at the wires and I don't understand how it was pulling at the wires. Alright, so let's get this top to roll. Oh yeah, I think I got a winner. I think I got a winner. I think we got it, boys. Top down. Alright, reverse. Winner! Oh! Bam! We got it. We got the backup camera. Next up, I don't know when we're going to do this. Maybe Sunday. I work tomorrow and Saturday. So we'll tackle taking all this apart and this out again to reroute the GPS up there is in the bottom. It needs to be up here so that can work properly because I got no GPS. So, and hopefully that'll fix that ground noise running ground noise i i would hear all the time in the uh radio so anyway guys i appreciate you guys watching sticking around this long don't forget to subscribe watch me get in trouble sweat my butt off work all night look at this it's nighttime i'm keeping you guys up with me anyways get some rest i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm out